So I have NetBeans here, and I'm going to create a small application. So I've already installed GlassFish V3, and I've got my SQL installed, and I've got no project. So let me start with creating a new project, and that's going to be a web application. And um, it's a GlassFish running on GlassFish V3. It's a Java E6 app. So far, no real surprise. I will eventually add Java server faces, so I'm going to add this. And it's creating the project for me. So at this point, I have not typed any code yet. Um, it's basically doing all the boilerplate uh, construction. I even have an index GSP. So in fact, I can, st I can already start uh, this application and run it. So at this point, it's obviously building. And I can see that the application is going to be available uh, to me. Now, let's go back to NetBeans. And let's change... Um, Let's change this title. And I'm going to just save, okay? I'm not going to do anything else but save. Now I can go back to my uh, page, and you can see that by just reading the page, I've got the new page showing up. So I've not, rede I've not even compiled, I've not redeployed, I've not done anything, but just saving the file was enough to make it available in, in GlassFish. Let's try to do a bit more complicated now. We're going to create quickly a new component, and that's going to be an entity class, um, which is going to be uh, using uh, MySQL. And in this particular case, it's my data source for the persistence unit. Uh, the package, let's call it examples, and that should be fine. So here I am. I have created this code application in NetBeans without typing much code. In fact, I just typed uh, just a get and set for this uh, name. And if you go to my database, you can see that now this table has been created. And of course, there's not much in there yet, but the table is there. The code application has been created with JSF, and you can see that I typed very little code, Daniel.